Hello everyone, you are in Endurance Laser Lab. In this video I am going to tell you and show about laser-induced breakdown spectroscopy or in other words it's called laser-induced plasma spectroscopy. So what is all about? Let me show you. So let's imagine you have different materials. Uh, let's start, uh, let's talk about metallic uh, materials and you need to know where is there exactly is there any uh, types of uh, steel stainless steel or what is it is it a steel or is it titanium so how clean is this part of yeah you can probably know, you might probably know that it's copper but if it's clean and is it aluminum or is it something else so that's where you need a laser spectroscopy so let me show you how uh, this thing works so let's imagine that uh, you have a laser beam, you have a surface over here, and you have a laser beam that, uh, that is focused on the, uh, on the surface. So this is uh, part one. Uh, the second part, you have some sort of uh, crater that uh, is that's usually made with, uh, with a laser beam. We use, uh, we're talking about DPSS, diode pumped uh, solid state. So this is a second step. And on, on third, you have uh, the plasma that is uh, being, uh, that's appeared uh, from this crater. And uh, this plasma usually temperature can be like 30, 40,000 uh, Kelvins. Uh, yeah, Kelvins and uh, then you need to analyze it so uh, let's say that you have a camera or something here a camera that is actually uh, analyzing different waves well actually analyzing different wavelengths from this plasma so the interesting thing that every material uh, has its own uh, its own spectrum so if we have, uh, if we draw a chart like this, so we have, uh, for example, we might have some peaks on different wavelengths. So let's say that it's 40, 400 uh, nanometers. That could be like aluminum. And we understand that it's aluminum. And different materials, they have their own uh, appearance let's say this or they have their own and unique spectrum so let me show you how does it work in action so we have an aurora 4000 spectrometer we have our dynamic uh, pwm so i can adjust power from our uh, dpss uh, laser model so here is our 10 watt dpss laser model and we have a fiber that goes from the uh, spectro uh, spectrometer so we can get an information from uh, from the plasma that appeared so let's try some materials so uh, let's try this one so we put it over here and we need to find out that it's in uh, focus because we need to get some uh, plasma so let me turn on the laser and check that we're in focus as you can see and now I need to aim the fiber directly well not actually directly but very close to the uh, where we will get these data now I can move and you will see them you'll hear the noise and you can see this plasma so this plasma is actually captured by our fiber and analyzed using a software so let's see what we have on our screen so i keep moving a piece of copper and you can see three different peaks so knowing that you can actually check the spectrum and see what type of material has these uh, peaks on those uh, wavelengths. It's, it's, uh, 
510, 515, and 522, something like that. So now I'm trying another material, and you see different, uh, different spectrum levels. So I was dealing with titanium and uh, I get some aluminum plate. Let's see what uh, what spectrum do we have on aluminum. So that's closer to 395. So we get these peaks over here. Okay, so also you can even analyze uh, different vitamins. So let's say we have a vitamin like this. Uh, let me focus it so you can see. And now we'll check it out uh, about the spectrum. All right, so uh, it's pretty difficult to to aim, but uh, here is what what we have. And let me show you what we got on screen. Okay. Okay, let's see what we have here. So you see that uh, we have different different peaks. It looks like we have quite a big amount of different different fractions over there. So you see that spectrum is quite wide. Uh, if I turn, make it less power, I won't see, but with much power you can see that spectrum is almost mm. has almost all um, all wavelengths so that's looks like it's a vitamin because it has you know very wide spectrum so we also can analyze different types of rock so uh, the same method uh, we're just getting plasma and let's see what we got on screen okay so that's what you can see here so by analyzing you can actually tell exactly the structure of, it, of this uh, piece of uh, piece of rock and I think it's really cool because now you don't need to make uh, complicated uh, analysis, chemical analysis. You can just get the laser, get a spectrometer, and get all data you need about uh, the structure and actually chemical properties of the material. So, hope that you like this video. Please share it with your friends. We will build uh, a prototype of uh, uh, a lips uh, so that. Uh, that uh, you can use it so we'll use it in our endurance laser lab but if you want to try it and you would like to learn more about it let me know uh, email me gf at endurance or call me plus seven nine one six two two five four three oh two and you're welcome to learn more about our 10 watt dpss uh, infrared 1064 nanometer uh, impulse uh, laser uh, on our website endurancelasers.com and visit our online store endurance-lasers.com and have a wonderful laser experience with endurance. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.